All right, Red and Whites, welcome back to the Ugly Inside. Uh, yesterday we saw Graziano come off the bench and he tried to pull off a few fancy flicks and uh, some passes that didn't pull off for him. A lot of people were shouting his name to get him out of the squad, but Pelle has been a, a great servant to the club the last two years. Nick, what did you make of his performance yesterday and what, what, what about him for the future? Well, his performance yesterday wasn't great. I mean, I, I'm a fan of Graziano Pelle and it wasn't great. You know, we came on and we needed him, him to hold the ball up. But he did try a few too many fancy flicks for my liking at a time when we needed to hold it up. Uh, he didn't cost us the game. Uh, some people, I think, have overreacted to his performance. And I think we've all got to take a, a step back and take a long, hard look. Graziano Pella has been a great servant of this club over the last two years. He came in and filled Ricky Lambert's boots, and that was a, you know, they were big boots to fill. Uh, he's had his critics at times, and some people didn't even give him his chance in his first couple of games, such was their uh, di dis dislike of the fact that anyone was filling Lambert's boots. Uh, but he came in, he was leading scorer last year, he had some great games and the irony of yesterday was Pella perhaps had his greatest game for the club in our 3-1 win at Chelsea. Uh, so to give him stick for a 20 minute performance I think is being a little unfair on the player. My, my thoughts are that he will probably leave Southampton in the summer and go back to Italy. I mean, his home country is one place where he's never really uh, shone as a player at club level. He's, he's had to go to Holland and now England to do that. And he's always said that he wanted to finish his career in his home country. You know, he'll be 31. He's, you know, at a good age. And it's possibly with Charlie Austin coming in the right time for him to move on. But Saints fans should appreciate what he, what he did. You know... Yes, he put a couple of flicks and touches wrong yesterday, but they didn't cost us a game. Uh, you know, they were in innocuous positions. You know, it's, who's to say whether we would have created chances and scored from them? Um, there, there were people that you should look at before Pella in, in the squad, uh, and we should thank him for what he's done and continue to back him, because that's how good runs go, not with fans on the back of people, but fans supporting their players. Now, do you think it's a case of the Ryans and the war in terms of him leaving the club in the summer? You know, lots of Italian papers have, have written and, quote, confirmed that he will be leaving in the summer. You, is, is it a good time for him to leave? Absolutely. You know, he's had two good years in England. He's been a very good servant to Saints. He's in the Italy squad. He wants to go out on a high in his own country. And, you know, perhaps he'll learn a, a few bob out of it as well. And, you know, from our point of view, from Southampton's point of view as a football club, it's possibly the right time to get rid of Pella. You know, we've bought him at, a good, at the peak of his career and we'll sell him Well, he's just at that peak. You know, the trick for any football club, the trick for Saints going forward, we're always going to sell players. Every club does in these days. The trick is to buy them at the right price when they're at, at the right level and that to sell them at the right price and just before they start to go down. Now, age is against Pella, uh, unfortunately. And, you know, he's not going to be our centre forward for the next three or four years. So if we can recoup a large chunk of his transfer fee now, and possibly more than what we got for Charlie Austin, then that is very good business for Saints. And let's just talk about his immediate future. Do you, do you think he will start against Bournemouth? Charlie Austin made his, his first start for the club against uh, Chelsea on Saturday. Can we see him start uh, at the Vitality? I, I think I think Charlie Austin will start the vitality. Uh, I think Pella, it, you know, we, we've signed Charlie Austin going forward, but Charlie Austin does suffer from the odd injury problem. So it's very good that you've got a player, you've got two players like Charlie Austin and Pella competing for a place. And last season and the first half of this season, Pella was on fire. Uh, so to have the, the option of Charlie Austin and Pella is great. I mean, I don't know why some fans were, you know, ranting after the game about get him out of the club and get him do that. Who would they rather vying for a place with Charlie Austin? You know, two seasons ago, uh, we were having to have players, youngsters in like Sam Gallagher. Now we've got an Italian international. You know, we're, this is modern football, unfortunately. People, it, it, it's, you know, a quick fix and a quick hit. You know, players are heroes one minute and, and villains the next. You know, it's a squad game. I expect Charlie Austin to start at Bournemouth and I expect Pella to be on the bench. And if Pella comes on, I expect him, as he's done in his two seasons here so far, to be a threat. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Let us know your comments of Graziana in the comments below. 
like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, when the second Chelsea goal went in, there was a mass walkout. What, what's your opinions on all this sort of thing, Nick? Well, I was very disappointed at that walkout. I mean, let, let's be let's get one thing out of the way first. Saints fans have been magnificent this season. The away support has been brilliant. We sold out virtually every game on the road. 